Two-thirds of women over the age of 65 rely on meager Social Security payments as their primary source of income. That's less than $1,000 a month. Let's face it, ladies, your finances need therapy. I'm personal finance expert Manisha Takor, and this is Therapy for Your Pocketbook. Today I'm seeing Susie. She's young, single, has a great job. Let's take a look at her financials. Susie's income is $70,000 a year, which is good, but her net worth is negative $25,000, and her credit score is a paltry 550. Her last purchase, a dog carrier from Juicy. Puddles look so cute in it. You're going to be really proud of me. I've been thinking a lot about responsibility and life, which is why I bought life insurance. So buying life insurance in your 20s is a common mistake. What you really should be focusing on in this stage in your life is learning to live within your means, starting to save, and making sure that you build and protect your credit score. But what if something happens to me? What if I get hit by a bus tomorrow? Who will take care of my parents? I'm their favorite. So that's another common misperception. Susie, the purpose of life insurance is not to take care of your parents, it's to take care of dependents. So here's my prescription. Renter's insurance offers great coverage and doesn't cost a lot. It will help you feel more secure about your place and the stuff you keep in it. If you don't have dependents, skip the life insurance. What about those feed the children ads I see on TV? Would that work? That's not a dependent. Goldfish? Susie, pay off your bills and get renter's insurance. Runner's insurance.